Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I am so sorry if I look like a sweaty mess. It is so hot in the UK right now. I think yesterday it was like 34.5 degrees or something like that which is like really hot for us so I'm like struggling a little bit and I wanted to film this video. I have been like not sure what to do. I was going to do like a home updates video but like I don't know, the house is not exactly as I want it at the moment. Like, it's a little bit messy, there's stuff everywhere, but, like, in the middle of things. So I thought, I'm not quite ready for a house update video. But I thought, when I kept coming in my dressing room, it is a mess in here. Like, everything has just got on top of me. I've got stuff I need to throw away, clothes I need to sort out, makeup I need to go through. It needs a really good deep clean. And I thought I can't go outside anymore. It's just too hot and it's quite cool in here actually. So I am gonna do a huge beauty room, dressing room, decluttering video. And I'm really excited to get started because it has actually been bothering me for a little while now. So I'm glad I'm gonna do it today. And of course, I'm gonna share it with you. I hope you enjoy the video and if you do want to see me sorting out everything in this room that's behind me then just keep on watching. I am just so warm I've got this tiny little crop top on just trying to like keep cool because I am struggling a little bit. Um, so today's video is in collaboration with Desenio. Desenio has sent me over a few prints and I wanted to show you them. They are absolutely gorgeous. I actually have got two just outside the room here which I'm going to show you and then I also am going to put one in the bathroom which I'll show you as well um, because we have recently renovated our downstairs bathroom well it's a shower room actually and I really really want to put a print in there I was going to put all three prints on the wall out here but then when I put them up I thought actually do you know what the bathroom has a big space that really would look gorgeous with a print in it so I decided to put some there as well so let me show you those first. Okay I have my three beautiful frames here which I'm planning to put up on the wall along here. I was going to put them up by the stairs but I've changed my mind because I've gone for the oak frames and I just think it'll go really nicely with the oak door frames that we've got. So yeah these three are going to go along here. They don't have the pictures in at the moment so I'm just going to open this up and pop all the pictures on. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights So these are the two prints that I have chosen to go out in the landing here and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. It is just kind of like a very simple like pen design I guess you'd call it of a body and I really love how simple it is but the reason I chose it is actually the background of it it is a print but it looks like canvas and I just love canvas I love the fact that it looks textured I think it goes really nicely with the oak frames and also then I had to have some pampas grass I love pampas grass. I think everyone does at the minute so I end up going for this one here which again it just goes with the oak frame so nicely and I just think they work really well with the door frames and everything up here. So yeah, absolutely love these ones. I got mine in size 50 by 70, so they are quite big. And here is my bathroom print. This is definitely my favourite one. I absolutely love it. I really love the kind of like neutral look, but then also like the green touches of it. And then I've got this little shelf here and it just matches in really nicely with that. And then the oak frame again goes with the oak worktop that we've got in the bathroom. So I just think it works really nicely in here to kind of like make the bathroom feel a little bit cosy, but also have like something to look at. You can also do this thing on Desenio called a gallery wall, which is where you put up like your wall and then you add prints to it so you can see what they're gonna look like in the room in your house, if you see what I mean, which is a really cool feature. So I definitely say try that out as well if you are like considering getting some just to see whether you like the way it looks. 
Desenio have kindly given me a discount code for you which is valid from today the 28th of July till the 1st of August at 12 p.m in the evening and that is code Rosie Tilly and that will get you 10% off. So definitely get on the site and have a look because I am in love with their prints. I have used their prints all around the house. I have so many more to show you, which when I do my complete like house updates video, I'll definitely show you more of the prints. But today I just wanted to show you the new ones that I got, which are just outside this room. Okay, so now I need to give you like a little tour of the room and how it's looking at the minute. Don't judge me. It has got in a little bit of a mess. So when you first come in the room, it looks like this. Um, it's not the best. Definitely looks a little bit of a mess. There's like clothes hanging around on here. One of the drawers is broken, I need to fix that. There's all products up here. Some of it looks okay, but like it's not, it's not good. The drawers are just shoved with everything. This is all my loungewear, so I'm going to go through all of that and I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of it. Um, and then I have like dressing gowns hanging up here, clothes here, and I just really want to make it look nicer. And then on this side, I have a lot of products out here, like this little basket just here has got a little bit messy I tend to just chuck everything in it so that needs sorting out got a basket down here so there's a lot of things to sort out there's just like piles of clothes laying around that need to go on depop so yeah I just need to get started with clearing stuff out first I think I really wanna know really wanna know if I let me figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, this area is looking a lot tidier. I've just got like all of my everyday products on here and then like bits and bobs I use here. I have cleared this out. It doesn't look like it, but I have actually cleared it out. Um, and then I've just got like my brushes on here, deodorants, body lotions, and bits that I just tend to pick up quite regularly, like face masks, face cream, stuff like that. Then I've just put my hair care stuff like dry shampoos and hair sprays and stuff just there. And then all of like my hair tools are just in there. Actually, this needs to go. We don't need this in here. This is a shelf that I need to find a home for. So then my next task is this. This is the biggest task. This is the place where I just shove stuff. So I have all of these products on the top that need sorting out. Um, I've got like all of my sun care stuff which is like obviously I've just been using it all because of the heat um, and just bits and bobs here that I want to try out. Um, I've got, oh this was cool actually, I got sent this stuff. It's a Korean beauty brand called K Secret and it's so nice, like the products are like calamine lotion, this is the toner um, and then they also sent me the serum as well which is also really really nice but my favourite of all of it is the calamine sunblock this is so good it is like quite a pink sunblock so when you put it on it almost evens out your skin tone a little bit but it's also a sunblock which means that like the sun is not going to tan your face or damage the skin on your face at all i just really love this one so much definitely rate that one the other two are nice but this is my favorite i wear it every day now i do tend to wear it on days that i'm not wearing foundation where it is quite a thick sunblock I find that if you wear foundation underneath it it's like a little bit too heavy but yeah for them days on the beach or when you're just chilling in the garden or you're not wearing foundation this is so good so yeah all of that needs sorting out oh yeah I actually have a mini fridge in here now which is so cool I absolutely love my mini fridge I got this from the range it's got like a marble 
door and then it's like grey here but inside actually it needs sorting out a bit it's a bit messy but I have all of my skincare this is like my daily skincare stuff I really like the stuff that I put on in the morning to be like quite cold I also have my night cream in here which is nice putting that on especially where like it's been so hot I've also got my face spritz in here I thought I'd keep that in the fridge and then I can just spray my face with that I am currently using my Aldi stuff so I'm using my La Cura Avocado Bright Eyes Eye Cream love this and I'm actually using the La Cura Watermelon Gel Moisturiser which I bought a little while ago and then I got sent these bits from this company called Yours which I love these products so much so I kind of got sent these and then like this got pushed to the side but I have finished up my day cream now from this company so I've gone on to that but I honestly am missing my day cream from here so much they're really really nice this is the night cream Milky Way night cream it's got like retinol and stuff in it they're basically a skincare brand that they personalize your skincare routine so you tell them what you want to kind of fix in your skincare routine and they put together the routine for you and they're all made in switzerland they're all vegan cruelty free like really lovely products i do have a discount code and a link with them so i'll leave that link down in the description i can't remember exactly what it is at the moment but i'll leave it linked in the description in case you're interested but yeah definitely missing my day cream but this is a nice alternative it is a gel moisturizer the watermelon one from aldi so i love that um yeah i've just got a few other bits in there but yeah i love love my fridge <sighs> and then it's this drawer this is the drawer that stresses me out oh, god look this is fake tans a lot of these are off now like this really needs sorting out uh, i've got like face masks and stuff tissues random things that i buy because i think they're so cool and then i use them and then chuck them in here um yeah so this really needs sorting out but we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, feeling pretty organised so far I have got a basket here with face masks in it and like hair care stuff and some scissors and then in here I've got all of my tanning stuff plus sunscreen things body glitters and like leg foundations all stuff like that like my favorite fake tans I've thrown a lot of fake tans away I had loads um so now all I've got is my cocoa and eve which I love and I've also got the cocoa brown one down there which is one from Aldi which I did get a long time ago it could possibly be out of date but I need to try it again because I do really like that one and then in this bag I've got all my mitts and like my face brush that I use to put foundation uh, to put fake tan on my face with and then down here I have all of my tan lux face bits which I absolutely love tan lux is one of my absolute favorite brands so i've got their body tanner which you mix with moisturizer i've got the face one i've also got the sleep one i had another one as well which i've used up i also have this one these are the glow drops from pestle and mortar they're really really nice as well you also mix these in with like a moisturizer so yeah i've got a basket full of tanning things there and then over here i have a nail basket so i have all of my regular nail polishes here i've got a little mini gel lamp here from madame glam along with all of my madame glam polishes which i love i love how miniature this is and how easy it is some acetone there so that's really easy like to reach you know like when you order something online they might give you some like free miniatures and stuff or small things that i've bought i put all in here so that i can then use them to like take away with me for weekends away and stuff like that and then here is my absolute favorite ever lipstick which is completely finished and they don't make it anymore but 
I loved it so much that I can't bring myself to throw this away because it was just my favourite ever lipstick. So this basket here and then I also have another one here which is this has got like miscellaneous stuff in it. Basically bits that I buy that I love but I don't use that much so I've just put them all in here. Just a basket filled with random stuff. I think you need that. Um, so this basket and that basket go up in the gap just up here so they look quite nice in there so that's where they'll be going Okay, this drawer's looking so much better. I've just put each of those baskets in there. Then I've got like my disposable stuff here, like cotton pads, tissues, stuff like that. And then just at the back here, I've got like tech stuff. So just like charging leads, charging dock thing and light um, matches for like my candles and stuff. So that's all in there. This is looking so much better and I can actually see everything that I've got so I can easily like grab it out. Whereas before, especially this basket, I'll be like rooting through looking the stuff and it's just difficult. I think I'm going to leave my Calamine sunblock from K Beauty out because I do use this every day currently. So I'm going to leave that out on the other side. Um, the serum, I'm going to use up my other serum first, then I'm going to start using this one. So I'm going to put that just away in here for now, just while I use up some other stuff. And the same with the toner. I'm currently still using a different toner. So I'll start using this one very, very soon. Even if the sky is falling down And there's just no air. I've just opened my window. I didn't even know my window opened like this. Let me show you. I've been in here sorting stuff out and Ollie came in and was like, God, it's boiling in here. Why didn't you open a window? And I was like, oh no, my windows don't really open. Cause like this like tips back. And he was like, what are you on about? You just do it the other way and you can open it. So like my whole window is now open, which is so nice. So I have just cleared off these shelves here and I really want to put like nice decor on them so like when you come in I've tried to like make it like decorative but I'm not I don't know I don't quite get it right um I was just looking on Pinterest trying to find some like ideas of like dressing room sort of styles and different ways like to make it look good um and I think what you really have to do is like pick a colour and then like stick with that colour but a lot of the products and stuff that I love and like that I want to display are like all different colours so I find it like quite hard to actually work out like what can go where and like to make it match. Um, I've got this like pot of flowers here which um, I'm going to keep using because I really like them like the colour of them is really nice just like a creamy obviously in green colour so I'm, I'm going to put them there but like I don't know, and then I've got all this Jo Malone stuff. It looks like I've just got loads of Jo Malone, but the truth is I just never throw away the boxes because they're just so pretty. And then I display them, but now I think, you know, it's starting to look like a Jo Malone shop, which, you know, <laughs> it's not really the look I was going for. So I think I need to get rid of some of these and maybe just, like, keep, like, one or something, and then that's enough. Um, up here is okay, like I like these baskets, I've got some smaller baskets there. The clothes I did sort out not that long ago in another video, so they are pretty much sorted out. I'm doing down the bottom here because I'd like filled this bit of the wardrobe with just stuff. So I've pulled all of that out and I'm going to like basically get rid of most of this. And then this basket here, which is all my jumpers and stuff, normally lived in here but I want to like not put it in the display bit and I'm going to put it down underneath there out the way. So obviously with big jumpers, I'm not going to be wearing them. The sun is always shining right People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind the shades And you're doing the same No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where you're at Hot as fire, but baby, I bet you're cold. I have a drawer filled with bras here, and honestly, I 
like I'm never wearing a bra again basically I just don't really wear bras um I don't have big enough boobs for a bra really like most bras I wear there's always like a gap from like where my boobs should be um, but I always wore them to like make my boobs look bigger like I'd always get like padded ones and like push-up ones um like because I was self-conscious but I've just learned to accept my body for what it is like my boobs aren't the biggest but I don't have to wear a bra and I know that a lot of women with bigger boobs who obviously do need support they always say how horrible it is wearing a bra so I think well I should be thankful that for me that's a positive the fact that I don't have boobs now to wear a bra so anyway long story short I'm just going to get rid of all of these bras some of them are going to have to go in the bin but like some of them are like very new like this is not an old bra I've probably worn it once it's really pretty um and yeah I'm just not going to wear it so I'm getting rid of it I'm not keeping any bras I'm never wearing them again especially today I'm so hot I will wear things like this though these are quite handy these look like stick on push up things because like some dresses I wear uh like they're a bit like nipply so like you can see your nipples through them so stuff like this I will wear and I'll keep that but yeah the rest of it is going to charity if they'd accept my bras this one's even quite a new one I remember buying it it's so padded like I don't know if you can see it on cat oh there you go you can see there like it is super padded like I would buy them like this like thick with padding just to make my boobs look bigger and they were so uncomfortable like it's so wide and it's hard like digging my ribs all so that I could just have bigger boobs. I don't care anymore. My body is mine. Everybody, everybody's body is different. And we should learn to accept our bodies as they are. In my mind. Yay! So I now have a completely like empty drawer. Because I've like got rid of so much stuff. So this drawer is filled with like socks, underwear and bra crop top things. Which I need to get little baskets of each thing. So this drawer now, I'm so happy that I've got a whole new drawer because this chest of drawers here is falling apart. So I need to sort this drawer out here and this one here. This one I've just done, but these two need sorting out. So one of them has like, this one at the bottom has trousers, skirts and shorts and some dresses in there as well. This has like cardigans, tops t-shirts in there so what I want to do is actually put skirts and shorts in this one here so we can just have trousers in the bottom here so that everything's a little bit easier to like get to I think I might have just finished off that drawer. Oh no. So dodgy. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, the next drawer that I'm going to show you is such a mess and it should be so beautiful. It is this one here, which is like a pull-out tray where you can put like anything that you want to display on it. So like you can display makeup, nail stuff, skincare, like you could display whatever you wanted. I have got a jewellery display up here and this is actually pretty good. I actually keep this one quite nice so that one is actually fine I don't need to do anything with that um but yeah underneath it this is a mess like it's really bugging me because I have just like shoved 
stuff in here and not sorted out. I've just thought I've got some makeup. I can't bother to put it away. So I just end up shoving it in this drawer here. So I'm going to sort this out and try and make it a little bit more aesthetic. You always used to love the rain, but LA changed you. No rain, no flowers. Nothing's growing where your heart is fire. But baby, I bet you're cold without me. Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get it asleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold I bet you're cold Okay, now this is looking so much better. I've just laid out all my palettes like completely flat. So as soon as I open up this drawer, I can just see all of my palettes here. And I've put like my favorite ones closer to the front. I've also popped my Foxy Locks ponytail in here just because I don't really know where else to store this. And it actually sort of sits in here quite nicely. I also have this ponytail from insert name here, which I love also. I kind of want to keep them together. So I might actually fold that up and just pop that in there as well. So then both my hair pieces are like together. Um, I also have these two pair of glasses from Key Australia, which I loved, but now I've got a lot of my glasses from TIJN, which I really like the ones I've got. So I think I'm gonna put these on my Depop. I already have some on my Depop, but I'm gonna add these as well. These were a pair of sunglasses that I bought last summer and I have barely worn them. Still got the case with them. So I'm definitely gonna pop those up for sale on Depop. And then same here, I've got another pair here in this case, but these are like the blue light ones and they look like that. And they are really, really lovely a pair of glasses. There's nothing wrong with them, I really like them. It's just that I do have a lot of blue light glasses now and I just, these ones I reach for the least. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sell them as well. Uh, anything that I've got that's like half decent, like quite nice Nothing's stuff, nice brands, I will put on Depop. Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me Even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get it Oh, I finished. Oh, I just realised there's a load of stuff behind that door. Oh no. Okay, so I have finished and it feels so good. I'm so glad I did this today. I've been umming and ahhing for ages about doing it because it's, you know, it's one of those daunting jobs, isn't it? It's taken me, it's now five o'clock and I started at two o'clock. So it's taken me three hours. I haven't stopped for three hours. As you know, I did start a bit earlier, maybe half past one, but like I had a bit of lunch as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't stopped. I've literally worked all the way through trying to um, get it done. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. So now I shall show you around and show you how much more organized it looks and hopefully it'll be a nice, satisfying end to the video. Okay, so now when we walk in, this is what it looks like. And I just think, it looks so much better, like a lot tidier, a lot more organised, there isn't stuff everywhere, the sides are all like nice and clear, um, so yeah, I'm feeling really good. Uh, let's start with this cabinet here, this is looking so much tidier than what it looked like before. Um, I did have like more boxes on top of here, which like I keep all of my daily makeup in but I've now moved that box to over here so this is the bin and then I've put my box of makeup on top so like every day I pick that box up I sit here and I do my makeup so I thought it's better off it sat there and it's like out the way and this wardrobe here I don't actually like use it's filled with clothes 
but it's all like occasion clothes and things that like you would never get out on a daily basis so that wardrobe is kind of like blocked shut but it doesn't really matter because I don't use the stuff anyway back to this so I got rid of the two boxes that were on here and I just left the little Chanel book and the lamp on top I just think this looks really cute I love this lamp so much it just makes me feel warm and cozy when I'm in here not that I need to feel any warmer today and I managed to actually fix the drawers but I don't know how well I've done it I think it would easily break again so in the top drawer here everything is organized like I said earlier we've got the tat no we've got hair stuff here face masks nails bits and bobs like travel stuff we've got plugs and everything under there like I need to sell that phone um, that will probably be on Depop as well. <laughs> I'm going to have so much stuff I need to put on Depop. So that's got like electrical stuff in it and then here is all like miscellaneous throwaway things. And then next drawer down, this is so much clearer. This was like filled every day that I had to open it. I had to like squash it shut but now you can see like there's so much more room in it. So I've got like jumpers that I wear kind of quite regularly here like some cardigans and a jumper um and then I've got some other bits here which are like like light wearing jumpers I'd like wear with jeans maybe sometimes I don't really wear this very often but I just didn't really know what to do with it um and then here is just like daily tops t-shirts strappy tops shirts I've got a few shirts in there as well um so this is all like quite basic stuff everyday things that I would just throw on if I need something to wear usually this is like my around the house stuff like this isn't really stuff that I'd wear out much and then the bottom drawer here oh <laughs> Okay, I didn't fix it, whatever. I'm gonna be dealing with this for the rest of the time that I have this, aren't I? I really need a new one. Um, so I have jeans over this side, and then I have other trousers over here, like a bit more of like going outy trousers there. And then I have piles of sort of leggings and stuff here. And again, that drawer is just so much better. It was so overloaded before. Okay, then moving on to this section here. This is the one I was going on about earlier where I wanted it to be like a lot nicer. I wish I'd put lights on this one. I only put lights on this one, which I always keep a basket up there. And then on this one and not this one. Anyway, uh, I've put this plant here, which is on the windowsill. I thought this looked really nice, just like running down besides this shelf here. So this shelf here is like my summer shelf. So it's got a nice summer plant. It's got my favourite summer perfume, which is the Jo Malone Frangipangi Flower Cologne. I absolutely love that. So I have put all of that there so it looks very summery. And then as we move down we've got like an evening wintry kind of section. So at the back, it does have like all of my makeup bits that I don't wear that much, but I just need to store somewhere. So it does look a little bit messy, but you can't really see that when you walk in, you can only see like the decor bit here. So I've got these little sequiny booties, which I just thought looked really cute and they were black and they went with the Jo Malone perfume. So this is what I'd wear in the winter. It's the vertifer and vanilla one. It's actually quite a, a male fragrance, I'd say, but I absolutely love it for the winter. It's so deep and kind of like sexy. Um, so yeah, I really love that. I like the way this is like wintry and this is summery. And then we move on to this section here. So I've just kept my vision board at the back. I've put my little Instagram poster. I put this like in the back of my videos to kind of like remind people like I'm on Instagram that want to follow me and stuff. So I do have this like sat in the back of my videos normally. So I will be filming my videos like from this sort of angle. So I'll like sit here and then this will be my background. So you should be able to just see the Instagram thing in the background there, that was the idea behind that. Then I have one of my caster craft candles here. Um, I just put the pink one here cause it kind of was a bit of a pink vibe in here. And then I've got this plant and then these like bunny tails here, which are this plant, this vase, and then these bunny tails here, which I thought looked quite nice there. It's not like my favorite thing here, but I just didn't really have much else to work with. Up here is pretty much the same, two baskets, two more at the top, some baskets here with like bikinis in that one. There's one behind that's got sandals in it. Then down here, this was the drawer I was saying about earlier. That's like my underwear drawer. And then this one here now is really nice. And it has shorts and skirts and maxi skirts in it. And just so easy, it's like access, I love it. And then this one has like my going out sort of tops, like things I'd wear more if I was like going out for dinner or for like date night or something like that. There's a few more like going outy things in there, like 
my folding is not good is it but I get bored so easily and then down the bottom here is just some bags that I regularly use and some belts there so it's not like very interesting I don't have a great bag selection so then this section here is pretty much the same I did move some jewelry out of here and I put my sunglasses in here so I thought that would look quite nice with like everything else and then this one is the one I showed you earlier with all my palettes my hair and then also in here in this little box I've just put all of like my eyelash stuff like some stick on eyelashes things like that and then in here this is looking very empty this is like my summer pajama loungewear drawer but I've actually took everything out like washed loads of stuff it's all in the washing so this will be more full it won't be like that full because I've definitely had a massive clear out uh, but it definitely will look a little bit more fuller than this this is my winter pajamas and these are like Ones that I'll wear definitely winter time or if it's a bit cold like in the summer I still love to be really warm like I love wrapping up at night. I've also just got some joggers there which I wear quite a lot so yeah this is like my comfy cosy drawer. And then shoes don't really look much different. I have hid my slippers because they looked really messy. These shoes because I've worn them so much they look messy now but I've just put like my three pairs of shoes that I'd wear most regularly and also the ones I'm wearing these would also be be on here probably to replace these because I definitely wear these more than those the wardrobe section looks like this this is all of the clothes that I wear a lot so I have done a, a spring capsule wardrobe I'll leave that video linked down below because I did sort all of the sound I tried all my outfits on um, that I would normally wear so this is like what I'd wear if I was going out shopping meeting a friend for lunch going out for a dinner maybe like barbecue stuff this is what I will be wearing so I have like trousers and skirts at the bottom and then I have like dresses and shirts and stuff at the top here so yeah this was already organized which was good down the bottom I've got these two boxes which I didn't really want like them right there but it doesn't matter too much they do kind of like match in with the pink there um, and then I just popped a pair of like black heels on top to make it look a little bit more dressed up. Then we have this section here, which is looking a lot tidier. I did kind of show you this earlier, so it's not much different. I put the bin in, um, I've like cleaned everything. All my daily stuff is here. So yeah, this is my dressing room, all finished, all tidy. Like I said earlier, I feel so good for doing it. I feel hot and sweaty but I feel really, really good for doing it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to watch this video and maybe it gave you a little bit of inspiration to do a room in your house. It does make you feel so good. So if you're like thinking, shall I, shouldn't I, just do it. Just do it because you'll feel good. And thank you again to Desenio for collaborating with me on this video. Absolutely love the prints. Go and check them out if you like them too. Remember my discount code Rosie Tilly will get you 10% off your order, but it's only valid from now until the 1st of August at 12 o'clock in the evening. So yeah, go and check them out because they are really great. I will be filming more videos like house videos, house tours, house updates. I'll be doing a lot more of that as work progresses in the house. So if you do enjoy, that sort of content definitely subscribe and of course I'll continue with all my shopping videos as usual because that is just my guilty pleasure thank you so much for watching this video I hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're up to and hopefully I will see you in my next video bye